and welcome back to this edition of Bayou Time. Again, your host, Keith Weissite, licensed clinical social worker with Terrebonne Home Care. Very glad you're joining us, however you may be joining us. We appreciate it. And always glad to see my friend and colleague from Thibodeau, the mayor, Kevin Claymont. Thank Kev, you. how are we doing, brother? Thank you, Keith. We're doing fine. Like uh, enjoying the beautiful weather the last couple of days. It's out of the hundreds and yeah, uh, down exactly. to the 80s. Sometimes it was 70s early in the morning. So yeah. If, if, better than that right if you're now. one of those people up early in the morning, I know you are always concerned, worried about what's going on in the city of Thibodeau. Um, one of those things that I've been very impressed by, it would be remiss if we didn't start with the roundabout. Let's talk a little bit about what's happening there and some yeah. of the work that's being done. Canal Boulevard roundabout, big topic. Um, from what I hear, it's mm -hmm. right on schedule or a couple of days ahead of schedule. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be that way for a while. This was a 300-day project. Right. Um, no, 300 working day project. Work day project. That's right. So, um, that's not business day. I mean, that's eight, that's eight, working day. Exactly. Exactly. So you, you can see the picture that we have up there. That picture actually depicts all of the utilities and underground work being complete, mm -hmm. which is was a monumental task. You got to remember um, in Thibodeau that the old train train tracks ran right right there. Mm -hmm. So naturally, that was the main thorough, thoroughfare back in the day. Right. Uh, so when we, when the old timers came and put gas lines and sewer lines and water lines, guess where it went? It went right uh, next to those so train all, tracks. All of that had to be rerouted, and um, because the roundabout is going directly on top of that. Mm -hmm. So um, happy to say that the contractors are complete with the entire utilities relocation. Wow. Major, major, major step. Right. That was phase one of this project. Phase two is going to be a little bit lengthy. Mm -hmm. um, they have already started pounding uh, asphalt up and removing roads and getting down deep. I went to there last week. We had a couple of citizens' concerns, calls in that came. Sure. Uh, I went just kind of put the boots on the ground, so to speak. Um, not that I'm an expert, but I like digging in, finding out about that kind of stuff. They got some serious holes in that ground over yes, there. Yes, they do. Uh, so, you know, that's going to be, that's going to be there. Um, if you pass there, which I'm sure most people have, um, there, there are routes that aren't normal, right? But I am so impressed with these contractors. LA Contracting is doing a tremendous job out there, uh, flagging people, rerouting them. Made, they, they made a couple of cuts through our median. Right. Uh, and it's, it's, it's hard to say, but it is nice and concise. It, and it flows. It does. It's amazing that it flows so well. And I, like I told you, I'm there every week. Fortunately, with my job, I get to spend some time in Tibet. I was there Monday night, mm -hmm. and I pass by there intentionally. Yeah, yeah. Because I want to see its yeah. progress. And I will tell you, it flows. It the does. signage is good. Yeah. The redirection is good. And the fact that they've moved all those utilities already is remarkable. It is, it is. And and this project comes with a bunch of hiccups, right? Sure. Uh, there, are, there are numerous businesses around that area that, that are just, they're just inconvenienced. And, and right. I feel their pain. Right. Um, we address each one as they come in. I could guarantee you that. It, it, nothing goes unnoticed and, and unattended. Right. Um, I was out there last Wednesday, and the Department of Transportation is out there. Guys like Brandon Yuse and, and all those guys, they do a tremendous job. Mm -hmm. um, they are aware of all the needs. Uh, we try to address them as best as we can. We deal right. with a major, major project. We're talking about an $8.2 million project. Yes. Um, and if you know anything about the Louisiana Department of Transportation and Development and the traffic that they try to uh, migrate around, they don't want traffic to stop. That is true. Okay? So that intersection before we started this was a 15-road intersection. If you look at all the angles, the ins and outs, oh. 15 separate roads oh. that came into that intersection, it was by far the most high, it had the most accidents in any intersection or location in the city of Thibodeau. Right. This project has been in the works for about 12 or 13 years. Right. Um, it's desperately needed. There were seven separate stops that happened in that intersection. Obviously, the, the uh, Department of Transportation doesn't want that. So right. while there's, this is going to be a major inconvenience for people, it's a major inconvenience for me. I get it. Uh, but at the end, it's going to be so much more pleasurable, and it's, it, and it's just going to improve the safety for all our motorists. Right, and that's of all ages. Absolutely. People of all ages, they can appreciate, Absolutely. I think, where we're going with this. So really, really good stuff. Yeah. We've got some other good things, talking about the things that are happening. Let's talk a little bit about City Hall. So City Hall um, has not been a priority of ours to mm -hmm. maybe upgrade right. uh, as, it, as it was. If you know anything about me, I'm, I'm into the details of a project. Right. So when I look at uh, avenues and opportunities to enhance just City Hall and uh, 
and some of the stuff here's here's a result of it right we put a sign out there that might be a little bit too light too bright according to to some but we cleaned it up mm -hmm. um we painted the front we put trim we we came and did a re a whole uh reconstruct of our beautification down there and the flowers and and it just makes it a, a better feel when you walk in there you could feel the difference you really right. can um, I'm not trying to change the culture, but I am trying to mold the culture into something that people can be proud of. Right. Uh, and our city hall is used extensively by our community. They're in right. and out of that door, paying their bills, asking questions, getting permits, um, right. speaking with, with the mayor and his staff. Right. Um, so, you know, if we can just do some small uh, details like this and, and improve the facilities, we right. certainly took the opportunity. I'm and pleased these, that it came out. And these are some very cost-efficient changes. Absolutely. These were very minimal from yeah. a cost standpoint, but look at the value yeah. of what that is. It says welcome. Yeah, absolutely. And that's really what you as the mayor want. That's who you are. For those of us that know you well, <laughs> that's who you are as a person. But that's one of those things that we want people, wherever you're from, if you're from Thibodeau, if you're from Lafouche or not, we want you to feel like when you come to Thibodeau, when you come to City Hall, you're welcome. We're going to address whatever your need is. Yep. We're going to figure out what it is. Come on in. Absolutely. Welcome to our beautiful city yeah. and our beautiful city hall. Absolutely. I, I appreciate that. And that, that is exactly the, the out, outcome and the angle that we wanted. And uh, we, as a staff, are tremendously pleased with that. I love it. I love it. Kevin, got so much more to talk about. You stick around with us? Absolutely. We appreciate it. Hey, guys, you stick around with us as well. A whole lot more with the mayor, the city of Thibodeau, Kevin Claymore. We'll be right back. Today's social media segment is brought to you by Parabon General Health Systems, Modern Technology, and Timeless Caring. Rouse's, you're either local or you're not. Buick, the craft of modern luxury. St. Martin and Bork, know your rights. Welcome back to this edition of Bayou Time. Again, your host, Keith Weiss. I joined by the city of Thibodeau, Mayor Kevin Claymore. Kevin, welcome back. Thank you, sir. And, you know, we talked a lot about what's going on at City Hall, talked a little bit about that roundabout, which is all very important. But y'all have lots of projects. Thibodeau is always about making uh, sure that we're improving things, making sure that we're, we're building for a future. Tell us about some of those things that people can see happening. Yeah, I, I guess the first thing I want to make people aware of is that we, we are doing some work behind City Hall on the Bayou side. Right. Um, you, you, we started tearing up concrete and the calls started coming in. What y'all building? Who's going there? Whatever. <laughs> um, we are putting a pavilion right by the, the Friends of Bayou Lafouche built us a boat launch. And you can right. see that launch. That's in place right there. Uh, the, the yellow and, and green highlighted areas, it's going to be a nice pavilion. That pavilion will be about 500 square feet. Oh, my. Uh, it's going to have lighting inside. And it's going to have a couple of benches there. Um, my vision is on that bayou side to make it more of a, a long greenway from Jackson Street Bridge all the way to Canal uh, Boulevard. Um, I would love to see activities on, along that bayou side. Um, the state of Louisiana was gracious enough to give us 250000 for a downtown pavilion. Right. Uh, this pavilion that Jason just had up there is different. We, we actually had the, a grant from L'Oreal to, to fund this pavilion. Right. But that 250 is going to be a little bit further down. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully we can get the bulkhead in place before we put that pavilion either on, a, on, on the bayou side itself or in an area, that, uh, partial of land that we own downtown. Right. Uh, just gathering spots. I mean, you, you know how many events we have downtown. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, from Big Boy Cook-Off to King Cake Festival to bands on Friday nights. There, it would be such a cost savings if we already had a pavilion. Save 300 three, uh, $3,500, $4,000 for everybody to rent a stage and get it put up. If we could have that in place, there. kind of like a center gathering point right there. Right. Um, yeah, I hope, hopefully that'll come to fruition sooner than later. Covered, lighted, Definitely. electricity, right by the bayou side. Yeah. Beautiful, some green space around it. Yeah. Can't, Perfect. Yeah. Perfect scenario. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Um, one of our other, um, we've had a couple of clean up, uh, city cleanup days right. uh, in our town. I uh, had two. Um, Went up extremely well. You see a small portion of people that came out for our last uh, cleanup day. It is, it, it, it is what it is. They get, they, put, they get there in the morning. They put on the vest. They grab the grabbers and a couple of buckets, and they go clean up trash, right? There's nothing more basic in a town than having 
litter picked up, and lighting at night. Um, we've just created an initiative. We're going to change all of the downtown lighting from Canal uh, Boulevard all the way to Jackson, from LA1 all the way to West 5th. We're going to upgrade with, with more uh, LED lighting. Wow. Uh, we still have lights. I know it's hard to believe, but we still have lights affected from Hurricane from Ida. I, well, um, well because know. it's one of those things that we're doing all the other work that's, that's kind of necessary, getting people back in their home businesses, back yeah. and up running. Now we focus on lighting in Ab the streets, abso right? Absolutely. And, and energy has worked well with us. Mm -hmm. uh, those folks over there are more than eager to come in. And uh, it's going to cost us a little money, but nothing earth shattering. And it's, right. it's just such a benefit. It keeps people safe at night. Right. So when you have good lighting, you have trash picked up, once again, quality of life, it just improves everything going on about uh, around town. Clean up during the day makes it beautiful. Lighting is safety at night, nice yeah. at night, yeah. doing both sides. Exactly, like exactly. Very uh, good. We, are, we just finished our North Thibodeau water tower. We had to completely, inside and out, right. get in there and do a major overhaul on, right. on, on two water towers. The, the picture you have right there is the completed uh, tower as you get into Chag Bay, yep. uh, leaving yep. Thibodeau. Right. Uh, that's complete. Our, our MLK tower on our south side by Nichols in the hospital, uh, it's twice as big as this one. It sure. holds twice as much water, so it's a little bit more of an endeavor, but uh, we started on that two weeks ago. Okay. Uh, that, that's, that's, that's a major project, right? You, don't, right? you don't really see any bang for the buck, but you, you realize it when you don't have water pressure yeah. in your house, and you realize it when you don't have fresh water. Uh, so those are those are things. Those are necessities. Freshwater supply, so very important. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, we also recently completed this past. What today is? Today's Wednesday. On Monday, we opened up Tiger Tiger Drive Bridge. That bridge was hit by a, by a water vessel. Right. Um, had to get in there and uh, do some serious structural. It, it was structurally good, but uh, if it would have got hit again, it, right. it could have caused us some serious problems. Right. Finally got that complete. We have the, uh, the construction company came out, did a great job with that. Um, we have a little bit striping that should be completed tomorrow. Then that bridge will wow. be back in service uh, tremendously. Um, wouldn't be right if I didn't touch on Harang Auditorium and okay. all the improvements that we have going on over there. Remarkable. Um, I, I pretty much mandated that we use that building for more than, than what we used it for. Right. Uh, and Jared Shanklin, my director that we hired, uh, has been doing a tremendous job. Uh, him and his people are, uh, you don't go there on a weekend and not see cars. Right. Uh, whether it's the gun show this weekend or Tawasi antique shows or, or just different. We had the circus last time. Last I said we had James right. Pierce and his rodeo right. uh, about a month ago. Um, so Lots that, of good stuff. Yeah, that is. Being, um, being for the building because that's what its purpose. Absolutely. To be used. And, you know, I, and I, touched on, I touched on Jared, but I, I want to say this before we're done. Okay. Um, we spent a ton of time with new people. And we spent a ton of time in just trying to get them to buy into our philosophies, right? right. Um, it's one thing when you have good people that work for you, which I do. Right. It's another thing that you hire people that can get the job done, and they are doing the job. It's another thing that they enjoy what they're doing. It makes everything more enjoyable and more pleasant for everybody involved. And it's one other thing if you em em just embrace the philosophy that I'm trying to get. Mm -hmm. um, I could tell you when you put all of those things together, it's amazing. And right now we have all those things going on together. Success is never final. I know that right. uh, we're always going to be striving and there's going to be issues that pop up. Um, but the people that we have in place right now would, is something that the city, if the city could see the stuff we've done fundamentally to our government, it, uh, it, it would, they would all be impressed. I guarantee you that. A great team yeah. is a really important factor. A great leader is yeah. also one of those things. Thank you, Jay. Very thankful. Pete, for I appreciate it. You got it. All right, guys, that will do it for this particular segment of Bayou Time. Don't go anywhere. A lot more local programming right here on HTV.